friends, it's so good to see you today. My name is Miss Nicole and I'm going to be enjoying today's lesson with you. We have so many wonderful things in store. Let's go over our agenda. We have five very special things today. The first is we're going to worship together. Then we're going to do our offering song. We're gonna pray together, we're gonna watch our lesson, and then we're gonna say goodbye. So grab some instruments so we can do number one, worship together. You can use anything that you find at home or use your imagination. Let's go worship and I'll see you here soon. much fun. Now that we've finished our first thing, let's get into the second thing that we have on our agenda, our offering song. We're going to sing our song together. You can put your hands over your heart. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our hearts to Jesus. Great job, friends. Okay, now that we finished our second thing, let's do our third thing. I'm gonna pray for you. So bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, thank you so much for every single person that's listening to this. Thank you so much, Father, that you just bless us, that you give us health, that you protect our families. Thank you so much that you just give us creative ways to enjoy this time at home. We thank you so much for Jesus, and it's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, friends, it's time for number four, watching our lesson. Today, we have Justin the Mailman. He wants to share a story with us that's going to tell us something special about God and what he thinks about you. So let's go watch the story, and I'll see you here soon. Enjoy the lesson. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder And as you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Who, who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices, and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what, so we can love each other too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! What a great story. We are so special to God that He loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, Got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I can 
the cell of pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Thanks, Justin. Wow, what a great story about the father and his son. We learned today that nothing can ever make God stop loving you or me. Remember, can anything make God stop loving you? No, nothing. And that reminds me, it's time for number five. But before we do that, let's get into our memory verse. Do you remember it? It's nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8:39. One more time. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8:39. All right, friends, I had so much fun with you today. I hope that you never forget that God won't ever stop loving you. It's time for number five saying goodbye. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.